Ziv, for a closer look at Israel's vote. He's an associate professor at American University School of International Service here in Washington. Uh, Guy, first, what are some of the immediate challenges that this new government uh, may face at a slim majority? And very quickly coming up, you've got this flag march and a possible Hamas retaliation. You've got uh, potential evictions uh, later this month. Uh, what do you think is going to happen and how will a new Prime Minister Bennett respond? Well, today marks the dawn of a new era in Israeli politics. Uh, Netanyahu is going to the opposition for the first time and, uh, and in its place is a new leadership. It has a wafer-thin majority in the Knesset. It's going to have to account for the diverse views uh, represented by uh, eight different parties that make up this governing uh, coalition. So it won't be easy. But we, we already witnessed uh, today the stark contrast in tone between uh, members of the outgoing government and the incoming one. Uh, when Naftali Bennett gave his uh, swearing-in speech, he was continuously interrupted by heckling from uh, Netanyahu's supporters in the Knesset. Uh, and, and conversely, when uh, Netanyahu spoke, he was not interrupted uh, during his exit speech, which was, by the way, a very disgraceful speech. He invoked the Holocaust, and he argued that Bennett will, will be unwilling to stand up to pressure from the Biden administration. So I think we're going to see a, a major change in tone. Uh, we're also going to see this government avoiding major issues of, con of contention. So I don't think we're going to see dramatic developments in the peace process. I don't think we're going to be seeing annexation or even partial annexation of the West Bank. Instead, Bennett is going to be focusing on healing the rifts in Israeli society after years of incitement and the politics of fear that came to characterize uh, Netanyahu's approach to governance. Yeah, I mean, how does one really define Naftali Bennett? He was born in uh, Haifa, which is a mixed Jewish Arab city. Uh, he was the head of the uh, Yesha Council, which is an umbrella uh, group for the settlements uh, in the West Bank, uh, and he lives in Tel Aviv, which is largely secular. What do you make of him? Look, he's a uh, he's a, a politician who uh, is is very pragmatic, and so even though he is a right wing ideologue, uh, he has demonstrated uh, just in forming this coalition or or being part of this coalition that he is willing to uh, to make some compromises. And I think he's also realistic. He understands that he leads a very small party, that uh, any kind of uh, move that would be uh, rejected by the center and, and center-left camp is going to lead to the collapse of his new government. I don't think he's interested in doing that. So I, I would not pay too much attention to his, uh, his ideology and rather focus on uh, what he is going to be uh, paying attention to in the coming months uh, of his premiership. Joe Biden, the U.S. president, we heard there saying he looks forward to working with the new government. I'm not sure if those are famous last words. You know, one could argue better the devil you know. Uh, what do you expect of relations uh, between Biden and uh, Bennett? I think they're going to be better uh, than they would have been had uh, Netanyahu continued. Uh, and Perry Netanyahu became very partisan and uh, really kind of um, put a rift in U.S.-Israel relations, especially when it came to uh, the Democratic Party here and its, and its relationship with Israel. And so I think with uh, Bennett, we're going to see strengthening ties. He mentioned it uh, in his speech today. Um, he made a point to thank President Biden uh, for his uh, support of Israel. Uh, and so I think that we're going to see greater efforts to, uh, to improve Israel's uh, relationship also with the diaspora. Uh, which has uh, been strained in recent years, the Jewish diaspora in the United States in particular, due to Netanyahu's policies and also the heavy influence of the ultra-Orthodox parties in Netanyahu's government that are now going to be in the opposition. Guy Z from American University, thank you for your insight.